This month of December marks one year since the start of the world's vaccination campaign against COVID-19. And amid this milestone, Seoul is hosting an exhibition that seeks to share our plight and fight amid the pandemic. I have Chun Songcho standing by. Songcho, good to see you again. Good afternoon, Sunny. So Songcho, you are at a photojournalism exhibition. Tell us more. That's right. Well, more specifically, I'm just outside the Seoul Metropolitan Library that you see right behind me. And if you're wondering, what is she doing outside? What about the exhibition that Sonny was talking about earlier? Well, don't worry, because here it is, the 2021 Seoul International Photojournalism Exhibition moved outside, allowing viewers to stop by and enjoy the pictures as they walk past the library, just like I'm doing right now. So it's not only extremely pedestrian friendly, I mean, obviously the exhibition is literally just on the pedestrian road, but also the concept of an outdoor exhibition is extremely appropriate for the current time, considering the fact that we're in the middle of another wave of COVID-19 right now. So this exhibition actually opened just last month, both on and offline. Um, under the theme of new normal life, it displays 86 photos taken by 68 photojournalists from 12 major news agencies, including AP, AFP, EPA, and the New York Times. 20 photos have been selected to be displayed here out in the open while the entire collection is exhibited online. And the photos that you'll see at the exhibition are just truly remarkable uh, in the sense that they really uh, captured uh, every moment of the pandemic and also different emotions felt by the people uh, since the pandemic took hold. And our, I just want to show you an example right here. So this picture uh, was taken by a New York Times photojournalist named Tom Jameson. And this is a photo of a cathedral in Salisbury, England. The picture was taken in January this year. And the cathedral, apparently, if you look into the description, uh, has turned into a vaccination center because of the pandemic. And what's really touching about this story behind this picture is that the organist of the cathedral were playing music at the time for the healthcare workers and the people who are getting vaccinated at the time to give them a sense of relief and comfort. And also, this is a beautiful picture of the frozen Han River. I didn't know that the frozen river was this beautiful. And I want to move your attention to uh, this picture right here. Uh, this was taken by another New York Times journalist, Cristobal Olivares. So this shows a subway station in Santiago, Chile, in March 2021, this year. And as you can see, the commuter is wearing a face mask. And this picture was actually taken at a time when the uh, Chilean government was regretting about its decision to, really, to ease uh, social distancing restrictions to early because it provided uh, kind of a false sense of confidence and comfort to the people that the worst of the pandemic was already over. So as you can see, these pictures really are like a recap of the past year, showing how people uh, around different parts of the world had to adapt to the new way of life during the pandemic. And I, th and I think these beautiful moments, the real moments in life during the pandemic through the camera lens are very ironical in a way to the harsh reality of the pandemic. And it really offers a chance for people to take a moment to think what they did for the past year to overcome various challenges and obstacles they faced during the pandemic. So for more uh, on this very thought-provoking exhibition, I want to invite an official from the Seoul Metropolitan Government to the show. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, thank you so much for taking your time to be on our show. So I really love this concept of being out in the open, the exhibition just on display for everyone to see on the road. How did this idea come about? Uh, thank you. Uh, Seoul City hopes that not only people in Korea, but also all around the world uh, can have a look at how people are living amid the pandemic and see how people are overcoming the pandemic as well. All right. Thank you so much for your answer this afternoon. Thank you. All right, so this exhibition, which runs through this coming Sunday, is free of charge to the public. So if you're in town, maybe you can take a little detour to come and take a moment and appreciate these gripping images uh, 
along the exterior of the library building because life is enjoying the little moments, the little things in life, uh, especially in times of the pandemic. This has been Chen Song Chiu reporting live from the Seoul Metropolitan Library and back to Sunny in the studio. All right, Song Chiu, as always, thank you very much for that coverage.